So picture this scenario. Game developer releases a console title, and then two weeks later, panics and tells all the stores, pull everything from the shelves, pull the copies, send them back, destroy them, burn them with fire. I feel like I've heard this story before. That's right, folks. Uh, I have heard this story before, so I imagine you probably figured out by now I was referring to, of course, the infamous Concord debacle, the Sony PS5 game that exactly two weeks after its original release has been pulled from the physical and virtual store shelves. Say that ten times fast. Uh, according to various uh, observers, it is believed that this game sold approximately 25,000 copies before being pulled, of which apparently about 10,000 were Steam electronic uh, purchases, and then 15,000 from Sony themselves, which, depending on who you talk to, is uh, probably mostly virtual downloads, but uh, also perhaps includes physical copies. Um, it is thought that very, very few copies of the physical PS5 game Concord uh, had sold before the final word uh, came down back on the 3rd of September that uh, everything needed to be pulled from shelves. I will tell you, it's interesting to me that within 24 hours, it was absolutely impossible uh, to purchase a physical copy of this game, either through uh, the uh, online portals for, say, Best Buy, Target, GameStop, you name them, or by going into any of the stores they took this uh they took this recall seriously uh so why do i bring this up i think that a lot of the people uh talking about this particular debacle the concord uh video game disaster of 2024 are focusing a lot on uh, specific reasons as to why this game may have failed why it's the harbinger of another or perhaps the biggest video game crash of all time i'm actually going to talk a little bit about that in our next video but for now i want to focus on the concord ps5 situation and uh whether or not it has some some parallels to another famous situation that happened back in the 80s where a video game was released to the public uh, in limited numbers and then was yanked from the shelves just a few weeks later. That's right, I'm thinking about the Bandai title stadium events for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, back in the 80s, uh, this game was released. It was an exercise game. It went along with the Bandai uh, version of what's known now is the, I believe it's the Power Pack or the, the mat device that Nintendo had uh, eventually uh, released in, in wide release to um, run and exercise and do sort of exercise-related games with. Uh, this one was an interesting one because, as the story goes, um, Nintendo bought the rights to the then Bandai Stadium Events game and re-released it as Nintendo World Class Track Meet. Uh, so a very, very small amount of physical copies were printed and got out the door. Depending on who you talk to, which gaming historian... It's believed that somewhere between 2,000 to 10,000 copies were actually printed. Uh, most people agree that back in the NES days, you were technically supposed to order a minimum of 10,000 units of a game to get published. Uh, it's not clear if this got that full uh, set, but it is clear and everyone agrees that almost immediately after being released to stores, it was pulled. So it, an extremely small amount of copies were sold. However, ultimately... Uh, the value of stadium events today, if you wanted a sealed copy of that, well, just take a look at the uh, latest comp I could find from Heritage Auctions back a couple years back. Uh, a copy sold for $66,000. Uh, now, here's the thing. Uh, the question I raise is this. Let's just, be, let's, just, uh, let's just get down to it. Is the PS5 game Concord going to be the PS5 stadium events at some point down the road in the future. Uh, people have discussed this and talked about this potential on Reddit. And as you can imagine, things went sideways. Um, I think that the game community at large has largely pushed back, angrily so, at the assertion that this failed game that you can't play anyway because the disc inside is just a code to download a game. How dare you suggest this is going to be worth anything in the future? You can't play it, so it can't possibly ever be worth anything. 
Well, I understand the sentiment. I understand how triggering the, the idea of uh, considering that a failed game would be worth a lot of money in the future is to a large number of people in the gaming community who are already quite resentful and angry at the concept of games being worth a ton of money, uh, particularly sealed games, particularly sealed and graded games. But at the end of the day, your emotions aside, the reality is whoever paid $66,000 for stadium events, I can promise you didn't pay that money to open it and play it. They definitely weren't looking for exercise. That'd be a quite expensive exercise play if you asked me. Uh, second only to maybe a subscription to LA Fitness. But anyway, I digress. Uh, at the end of the day, the people that were buying stadium events and who buy stadium events today are set collectors. These are high-end collectors. They are completionists mm -hmm. um, who like to build complete sets of things. And whether people are emotionally triggered by the existence existence of set collectors or not, they do exist. And I suspect that the uh, popularity of the concept of set collecting, admittedly, admittedly, largely driven by YouTubers, <laughs> um, is going to continue in the years to come. I suspect also that there are probably a lot of people who bought this physical game for the purposes of keeping it uh, in a safe or vault. Um, I think that the folks that are awing at how bad this game failed are actually underestimating how bad it failed because I would suggest that it's likely that a large percentage of the physical copies of Concord that sold in that two-week period before it was pulled and the last-minute people that dashed to get themselves a copy were doing so to speculate or to set collect, not to actually ever open and play the game. So if you look at that possibility, it kind of means that, you know what, it's not about, uh, you know, why should you buy a game that you can't open and play, the reality on the ground is I think there are people, whether you like them or not, who are going to do that. So here's a fun story. When I found out that the in a tweet that I saw that uh, the alarm bells had gone off and, oh my goodness, uh, we're taking all the copies off the shelves, I dashed to my computer and I opened up GameStop and sure enough, I probably moments before they shut it all down, was able to order the Concord PS5 Physical Edition. And sure enough, just before we started taping this, the mailman arrived. So let's find out. Did I get one of the last copies of the PS5 Concord? I've got my package right here. We're all excited. Let's go ahead and tear this bad boy open. Did I get the game? Did the person who picked it, uh, were they a set collector and just stuffed an Xbox 360 Call of Duty in here? It's GameStop. You never know. Let's pull that virtual slot machine lever and see what's going to happen. Are we about to unbox a copy of Concord for the PS5? Oh, I'm so excited. I, I can barely contain myself. Hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, let me pull this out. Hey, here we have... Oh, look at that. I hold in my grubby little hands a sealed copy of PS5 Concord. Uh, look at that. No, it, it actually showed up. Uh, it was not something else. Uh, it is, in fact, sealed. Um, so there you go. In the comments below, uh, Lamb based me for buying a game I can't play. Accused me of just being a scalper. I haven't listed it on eBay yet. Um, will I get it graded? Oh, that would probably get me some heat from the audience. Maybe I should. Maybe I won't. But nonetheless, I have a copy of Concord. Clearly, I'm not going to play it. But if I ever want to set collect for PS5, I may just have the hardest one to find knocked out 5, 10, 15 years from now. So now I ask you, what do you think about this situation? Situation. Is this, in fact, going to be an incredibly expensive game at some point in the future? Heck, the reality is people are already scalping it on eBay. Uh, if you take a look, the prices are now $100, $150, $200 for this game. Um, is this just a fad? Will the buzz fade? Uh, will no one care? Will no one that collects PS5 consider games that you couldn't actually play? Well, let's talk about it in the comments. I'm very curious to see where you land on this subject. And speaking of the PS5 Concord debacle, people are also considering or making the claim that this is the harbinger of the greatest video game crash in history. Well, sneak peek, our next video is someone uh, who knows his video game history. I would suggest... Uh-uh-uh. I'll tell you more about what I think was the biggest video game flop of all time and how it uh, measures up to Concord. Please like and subscribe if you like the cut of my jib. And as always, I'll see you next time on It's All Dug and Games.